Haley Deegan is looking forward to her next season after announcing that she will be competing for Thor Sport Racing. But it appears that something is going to be out of place for her. In a recent interview, America's crew chief, Larry M. Cranolds, discussed Deegan's forthcoming season and dropped a few truth bombs about the driver while remaining open about his opinions. So, Nascarians stay with us on NASCAR Zone to find out what is going on. But before we begin, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Last week, Haley Deegan made the announcement that she will be joining Thor Sport Racing and driving the number 13 in the NASCAR Truck Series in 2023. This will be Deegan's third full-time season in the series. The young player, who is 21 years old, was obviously excited by the prospect of moving to a team that is in the running for wins and championships. After the news was broken, America's crew chief Larry McReynolds discussed Deegan's forthcoming season on his Sirius XM NASCAR radio show. He also provided insight into what the fans might anticipate from the driver. He didn't beat around the bush on what he thought about the driver, and in the process, he let some truth bombs loose. In her first trucks race, which took place in 2020 in Kansas and ended with her finishing 16th, Haley Deegan proved that she had a lot of potentials. Sadly, that outcome was not a reliable indicator of what would happen in the future. The first two seasons of Deegan's career have not been very outstanding. The stats suggest that 2021 was the better of the two years for her, with her average starting position falling from 18.0 in 2021 to 20.0 in 22, and her ending position falling from 20.9 to 22.1. The most disheartening number of all is the fact that she did not finish races three times in 2021 but seven times in the most recent season. Her total performance in 2022 was less than stellar, but it stands out even more when compared to that of her DGR teammates. She had two finishes that were the top 10, and she ended up finishing the season in 21st place overall. Tanner Gray, a 23-year-old DGR teammate who was competing in his third full-time season, had six finishes in the top 10, including a pair of finishes in the top five and finished 16th in the point standings. Additionally, the number 17 DGR truck, which had a number of different drivers behind the wheel, made it to victory lane not once but twice with Todd Gilliland and Ryan Priest in the driver's seats. This week, in connection with the news that Deegan has signed a contract with Thor Sport Racing for the 2023 season, Larry McReynolds discussed the driver's decision to relocate during his on-track show broadcast on Sirius XM NASCAR radio. It should come as no surprise that the crew chief who won the Daytona 500 a record two times did not supercoat his sentiments. And I say this with the utmost respect because it's beneficial. It's beneficial for everybody involved for Haley Deegan to perform. I mean, she is a female. She's a minority in the, driving a NASCAR camping world or what's now Craftsman Truck Series truck. It's so beneficial that she performs. But to me, this is a year where the rubber's going to meet the road. You know, she has basically 46 starts, Danielle. She made that one start in 2020 at Kansas. And, you know, she bounced out there, never been in a truck before. Back in the era during COVID where you lined them up and you raced them. And she finished 16th. I felt like she overachieved because they actually ran her out of gas that day. But since then, she ran 22 races in 21 23 races in 22 and has three top 10 finishes, a best finish of sixth at Talladega this past fall. She, and nobody knows this better than Haley, she has got to step it up. Because I even go back to last year at David Gilliland Racing, that 17 truck was running up front, hands over fist, winning races. And it, it, to me, a third season it's it, the rubber's meeting the road. You're gonna, you're going to have. I don't care how many YouTube followers you have or social media. That's all grand. That's all great. Gonna have to start performing on that thing called a racetrack. What kinds of expectations are reasonable from Deegan, according to you? Tell us in the comments below. Also, do subscribe to our channel for more updates on NASCAR. For Deegan, it is finally time to put his money where his mouth is. In 2023 when she will be fighting against a company 
that will bring out trucks that will win races and possibly be in contention for the title. She will have no room for excuses. It is not necessary for Deegan to win any races in order to demonstrate that she belongs. That would be of great assistance, but simply continuously running in the top three positions with the possibility of pulling off an upset victory in 2023 ought to be sufficient to meet the requirements set above. If she doesn't finish in the top 10 many times, she could very well find herself on the sidelines in 2024. Deegan raced the Alsco uniforms 302 for SS Greenlight Racing in the Xfinity Series last year in Las Vegas. Her 13th place performance in her maiden Xfinity Series race was the greatest ever for a woman. In the 2022 Camping World Truck Series, Deegan drove for David Gilliland Racing. He finished sixth in the Chevrolet Silverado 250, his highest finish ever. Haley Deegan has accomplished a lot in the last five years. In both the 2018 and 2019 K and N Pro Series West, she finished in the top five. She won three races and finished in the top 10 and 23 others. Monster Energy has sponsored her, as has her father, Brian, who is the most decorated freestyle motocross racer and an X Games legend. However, the money is insufficient, so Deegan makes personal deals and uses social media to get sponsors. Deegan's social media presence may be a more compelling selling point than her race results. Last month, Ford assisted Deegan in making her first Xfinity Series start. Ford knew Deegan needed a car for 2023, so they assisted her in obtaining one. Deegan would want to ride in the Xfinity Series after two frustrating years in trucks. Deegan said on a live TV camera after her debut race in Las Vegas. And I would love to be. I mean, if anyone's out there that wants to pay the bills, well, I'm more than happy to run some race Xfinity races. <laughs> That's a great run. Deegan is still the most popular female driver, and some even consider her a role model. She feels a sense of success when other racers approach her, and she hopes that her career will progress to the point where she can inspire many more competitors. Deegan said after the event, it's a wonderful sensation. When she's at the dirt track, little girls approach her and tell her that they watch her YouTube videos to see how she drives and behaves. They do this in order to imitate her. She also stated that while she is not flawless, at least people are observing her. For Deegan, 2023 is shaping up to be a significant year. We hope she can put on some amazing shows for her fans. What are your thoughts regarding this? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.